Hello everybody, it's Jess. On week four, and it's really hot, so I'm really sweaty and disgusting. Um, we don't really use the air conditioner very much. So here we go. Here's my wonderful stations. And I wanted to go, I already kind of made the box look nice. Yay! So there's really not much really to report. I mean, we got two new herbs. We got basil and rosemary. And so the basil is a annual. So the annual, so this will only come up one year, um, but it will grow really big. Uh, really, you'll get a lot out of it if you plant it in the ground or in a pot. And then you have the rosemary that. I'm probably going to plant in a pot and leave it out during the summer and bring it in during the winter because then I can keep this going all year round. Um, because it's a it's a perennial, but it doesn't like cold weather. So if I left this outside in the winter time, if I leave it outside in the winter time, then it's going to die and I'm not going to have it anymore. Um, but if you bring it in the winter, keep it out for um, the spring and summer. Chances are you're going to have a really nice rosemary. Nice bush. Okay. I also have some tomatoes. I got two tomatoes. Leeks. More leeks. I ended up doing um, with the leeks because um, there's only so much you can do with leeks. So I did potato leek soup, uh, which was great. And then I ended up making a vegetable medley. And instead of using onions, I ended up using the leeks as the onions. And uh, you put all your veggies, you know, whatever veggies you want. I put um, leeks, radishes, spinach, Swiss chard, kale. There was a couple of uh, tomatoes. And... Um, with some chicken broth and I cooked it up and then um, I put a little bit of, like a dollop of sour cream and it turned out really salt and pepper really good okay oh yes radishes and um, it's really dirty which is good lots of dirt that means it came from the ground um, radishes are not strictly for salads you can roast them, um, turn them into chips, saute them. I love sauteed radishes. Put them in dishes. You could do so much with radishes. They're not just for salad. Okay, what else do I get? Arugula. I have two kale. Uh-oh, kind of don't know where to... They packed my box up, lettuce. They packed my box up so good. What else I got? Another arugula. Lettuce. This lettuce is amazing. And actually, it smells so good too. Okay, what else? Yeah, I know it's still very green, but that's okay. We like greens. This is rainbow, rainbow chard. Ooh, see, it's pretty color, and I actually have, like I feel like it has a bit of a different flavor. It's really good. What else? Oh, more rainbow chard. Oh, this is dinner tonight. Ian made that. My hubby made that. Uh, oh, yay! Little tiny bok choys. Which would go good for dinner tonight. More chard. Oh, with some lettuce. Uh, oh! <gasps> Mushrooms! So two, 
three. Four. Oh, I can never pronounce this. But this is all this is good in salads, sa uh, sandwiches. It starts with an E, I think. Oh, beets. So one beets. Two beets. I got more little baby bok choys here. And more lettuce. Asparagus and asparagus. Okay, so back to perspective here. Ah, got shot. So that's a lot. That's my counter all the way on my stove to my second counter. That's a lot going on. So what I ended up doing, what you what I ended up doing was I had a lot of asparagus for last week, so what I did was I made asparagus soup. So good. And all you did was I used, you could use as much, um, like I put in four bunches of asparagus. Oh wow, I am so hot and sweaty. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, I'm like frazzled. You get to see me in my glory. Um, but anyway, asparagus. I made asparagus soup. And all I did is four bunches of asparagus with um, onions, garlic, and then I put in just enough chicken broth to cover all the asparagus. Cook it down, but you don't want to overcook it or else you're going to lose all the flavor. And then it's going to be like gross and then the coloring looks, you know, eh. So just like when you put, like as soon as you put the, stab the fork in it and it's nice and te like tender but not mushy, then take it off the heat, put it in a blender, blend it up, and I put a dollop of sour cream in, salt, pepper, and that's it. And it gave me a lot of, it gave me a lot of extra. So we didn't really use it all. So what I ended up doing, as I'm taking you on a field trip down to my basement. Hi, William. So here's my freezer. My second. I ended up. Okay, there we go. I ended up freezing uh, two jars, and um, so I don't feel like cooking. Take it out, it's already done. I also made a ton of mushroom soup from the last mushrooms, but this time, but this is, I actually put in tinier jars, so like they're portions. So let's say that I want something for lunch, I could just pull this little guy out and have my mushroom soup. Um, so that's just a little tip for, from me because I'm still in the green area. Tons and tons of greens. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'll be doing, um, I'll probably be pickling beets soon. I'll be getting a lot of beets. Love beets. Even just cook it up. It's so good. Uh, and that's really it. Like, my herbs, I'll show you my little herb garden. My herb fairy garden. Hi! Okay. So here is my herb garden. And all these things came back from last year, and some of them are uh, planted from this year too. And I still have two more boxes, so two more people need to come pick up their boxes. And it's extremely convenient. Um, some, some places actually just, you know, put them in a place and they'll just pick up their box check the num you know check their name and that's it. I kind of like having the boxes here so I get to get to know everybody and we talk about 
the share and you know what's good what's not good or everything's good so you know everything's good so it's not that there was me you know but just to converse and talk about it so that's really it for me um oh did i waste anything this week well we went camping this past weekend so i didn't we didn't really pack the salad but that's it i mean it, again my fridge was packed and again i didn't waste anything um like in a couple of days we would um cook up the asparagus and what we um what i was planning on doing is wrapping some raw uh thinly sliced raw prosciutto wrap them up in the asparagus grill them and you have an awesome side or appetizer so good all right so that's See, everything's all ready for me to wash and put away and it so I'm gonna tell you how long it took me last week to wash and put everything away 35 minutes it's really cool and um, that's it I hope uh, I hope I inspired some people give some other people ideas maybe eventually I might convince some other people to do you know come join the green side of CSA right Okay, so I'll see you next week for week five. I can't believe it's almost week five already. It went by so fast. But right now we're in week four. But I still can't believe week four came here, came and gone so fast. Well, so time flies when you're having fun. All right, bye guys.